Hello, this is Jugba on JWire, and today I'm doing something new. It's a building series. And what I just showed you was my uh, contest winner on Revan.org. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so yeah, I entered a contest with like a bunch of great builders, which build all the things around this. And these four, um, these four plots around the spawn are the winners. I'm one of them. So... Uh, since I won, I decided to uh, make a building series. I'll get out of cinematic mode. That's better. So I made a rainforest. <laughs> At first, it was just making a bunch of trees, and then I was like, oh, I need to make um, make it more interesting by making a giant ravine. And then it just sort of built on itself. So yeah. Um, and so this series is going to be about all aspects of building in Minecraft and all things... Ooh. Server crash. Wait a second. Sorry, guys. That was a um, server restart. Yeah. Uh, but where was I? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, so in this episode, we're gonna be learning about metadata, and that is what uh, these vines are. If, as you see, they are not actual Minecraft vines. They are kind of three-dimensional. They're just, you know, they're they're like cobwebs, which is actually exactly what they are. So if I hop in, go and press pick block, see it is cobweb. <laughs> so I could prove that to you by showing how ugly it looks without the conquest de texture pack. Ugh. This looks horrendous. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and this glass here, that was actually invisible in the other texture. It's cobwebs like all over the place. It just generally looks more uh shitty, I guess. The scientific word for it. Yeah, so I'm gonna be teaching you to you about how you can um harness the power of texture packs beyond your um normal knowledge of how they can be used. They can be done to you do amazing things. Like um if you look back here it looks pretty plain, but if you turn on the texture pack, and this is not what the texture pack does normally, you have to do it yourself. Uh, you can make builds and uh, terrain look amazing this way by using metadata. Yeah. So, yeah, when that loads, see, it is like mossy. There's mossy uh, variants now. Oh shit. <laughs> um. So it's like mossy stone with uh just makes it look nicer overall. And of course they're vines again and and these right here are also cobwebs. There's a lot of things. It's this right here, the rope is cobwebs. There's a lot you can do with cobwebs in this texture pack. And down here these mini trees, these are a um uh <laughs> sugar canes. Just in a different type of biome that make them look like this. So I'll go on to my creative plot and explain to you how to use this to your advantage. So first off, what is metadata? Metadata does not require mods, though to get things like this you will need the texture pack, conquest texture pack, and the mod Optifine, which you should have Optifine anyway, so don't complain. <laughs> it's awesome. So, mo um, metadata is, um, you know, the uh, numerical ID for a certain block. Like, this is, grass block is 2, and carpet is 171. The number following the colon afterwards is the metadata. So, as I change the wool color, it changes the metadata. If you see above my hotbar, see it's going it all the way, it goes all the way to 16. Now... Um, for texture packs that are, uh, are enabled to use Optifine, they can make, uh, different textures from something average like Cobweb, uh, that supports metadata, and they can turn into a bunch of useful textures that, textures that you can use in your builds. So, as you can see, these are all Cobweb. Um, yeah, if I switch in a default, it'd just be, like, bunch of cobweb which is boring but in this texture pack it makes it look sick um 
So yeah, metadata is just a bunch of tools, and yeah, it is really good. Uh, <laughs> that's not a lot of information. Anyway, um, so yeah, I have to get Optifine, Conquest, stuff like that. And some other text packs uh, have metadata, but, you know, it's not that good as Conquest. Conquest is very texture popular. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a very uh, popular resource pack. So, what I have here is not metadata. See, these are all the same metadata right here. And the reason they have different textures is that they also have a different biome. So, as you can see, this is the beach biome. And this should be something else. Oh, why isn't it showing it? So, Mesa Plateau, probably the same thing right there. And this is Hell. <laughs> Turn it back one. So, yeah. By the way, it, the tools I use for getting the metadata, um, you don't necessarily need it. In single player, you can just do slash set block and then uh, coordinates and then the block, like 171, and then the number of the metadata, say 12. But of course, I cannot do that on the server, <laughs> so they have a plugin instead. Um, it's called Monster Blocks, yeah, that's it. So they have the bottle, I like, can do it. Oh, wait, is it a bottle? Yeah, they also have a stick, they enable it for the stick too. So, yeah. So, and they also got another plugin, I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> Not much help, am I? Um, but yeah, if you go on rayvan.org, forgot to mention that, they have an excellent um, plugins menu. It's just that um, World Edit doesn't come for free. You have to vote for the server. But they have that's really easy. I have like credits 21, I mean 22. And yeah, so I can get World Edit by using those credits, which I get by voting. And so yeah, but you don't need World Edit. So. No voting involved to get these simple tools to change the textures on these items. So, if you see... Oh, wow. That's actually a different texture. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so, yeah. So, people make amazing builds. Um, I could probably fly around... Wait, I'll show you some builds people use. So, let's see now. Um, this one was the winner for detail. So, I should have a lot of this. Um, yeah, like this pot. This pot is um, metadata. It's, um, you know, it doesn't look like a pot. That's because they need metadata. This carpet is default, actually. <laughs> um, this is actually a wood slab. This is a stone slab. Uh, stone slab, I believe. And they get half slab of dirt, which is amazing. And um, cobwebs, you know, that I just showed you as uh, sugar cane. Um, let's see. There should be more inside. Oh, and this um, iron block, the rusty iron block, is also metadata. Um, there's a lot of metadata. If you want to win a contest, you have to use it, the metadata a lot. So if you're using default and you're wondering, why didn't I win? It was awesome. Well, this is probably the reason you did not use metadata. And all the admins that, um, oh, well, it's dark in here. All the admins that, uh, uh, reviews your stuff when you type slash review. Yeah, they have Optifine and shares and all that, so... To be on top of the game, sadly, you must have this, but at the same time, it's pretty dang awesome. And this is cobwebs. That is actually a wood block. It's filled with, like, mushrooms or something. I don't know. Gold nuggets, maybe. Um, this torch can be made to look like a candle. I don't think he used it, though. Um, so these are emerald blocks right here. The wine bottles in the cellar. Um... So, oh, and on the roof, there should be a bit like these uh, half slabs. I already told you that's wood. Um, these panes are default, actually. The texture pack looks really nice default, anyway. Um, let's see. Can I go in? 
It's a little more. Oh, that's uh, cobwebs right there. Um, cobwebs are so useful in this texture pack. It's not even funny. If you turn on, if you turn it off, it probably see cobwebs freaking everywhere. I sadly can't go go through this door. Oh, that's a head up there. That mini chest. It's a head. Um, painting, cobwebs. Yeah, so I think you get the drift. This should have been a short video, but I have a feeling it's not. <laughs> but yeah, sorry to waste your time. Um, yeah, just for a quick moment. Um, if you want to know where I got all these, these are all the metadata, not including like the default textures. These are all the special things. Uh, Monsterfish, the creator of the texture pack, added. And you use all of these. Some of them have special values, like this uh, pillar block. If you stack it up, um, connect uh, t textures connect. Oh, that's another thing. You need to turn on connected textures. He he stresses that a lot. Otherwise, the texture pack is not used at full potential. So, so you can see there's a whole bunch of textures I actually never used. Uh, some of them. There's some coral over here. Um, cherry tr leaves. Uh, gold nether dragon eggs and stone and oh my god there's a lot <laughs> again for the biome specific textures they're over here you can find this on the forum for his uh, texture pack if you scroll down a little bit it has links to it um so this is all the um special textures for the biomes and stuff yeah so half slabs wood slabs um actually have a lot of different textures that you can use uh, for terrain and stuff. Yeah, so, okay, so I'll leave you at that. Um, <laughs> see you in my next video, and I'll leave all the links in the description below, which are a lot of links. Um, so, yeah, in my next video, I'll be covering organic terrain, which gets you started on your build, and uh, you can immediately make your build look awesome by like first I started with my terrain I had a little um, ravine first and then a little, uh, cliff right here and then then did all the trees and organics and then started doing the uh, fancy stuff with, like the mini crane down there and the uh, bed and the living room and stuff so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye